Hey guys, so obviously the title of the video implies is a Dolly Tree and uh, other things haul kind of thing. So just as a fair warning, my AC is on because it's way too hot here in the city to not have the AC on. So if I talk a little bit louder, that's why. And I could open the window, but then it's going to be even more louder, so then I'm going to talk even louder. So just to benefit all of us here, I'm going to have the AC on. So yeah. Also, my sister's on the bottom over there in the on the floor just chilling and if you know or if you've been here for a while she always walks and in and out in and out the room so if that disturbs you I'm sorry but anyways all the things that I'm wearing for my makeup as well as the clothes that I'm wearing that you guys can see I'll have in the description down below so let's get started with the video the first products I picked up in Dollar Tree were wet and wild products the Fergie line especially because there was this blogger called no Novel Cheap I'll leave her link down below that basically said that a lot of the Fergie collection was on in, in Dollar, Dollar Tree so I went and checked and sure enough there was a lot of that in my Dollar Tree now that's not eyeshadow palettes and stuff but I actually don't really like the eyeshadow colors that they came in that came in the the quads so I just chose to stick with the lip products and a bit of the eye the first four things that I got are the Wet n Wild Velvet Matte Lip Colors obviously from the Fergie collection so all the ones that I got are basically like very very nude colors very neutral things that are gonna be easy to wear for me in my opinion this one's Timeless Chick this one's Fashion Darling this one's Plum Genou and this one's Transcendent so far I like these pencils one thing I have to say is don't drop them I dropped two of them already and both of them broke I fixed them and they're all right but they're super super kind of sensitive right not sensitive they're like super breakable and I guess yeah sensitive um, what's that word they're fragile they're fragile lip colors um, like I, they're they're creamy they're matte some of them are matter than others are more matte than others and some of them I like more than others now none of these are true to what they actually are as you can tell none of them look like what they say they're supposed to be so that kind of sucks about that but I actually like the colors that come out regardless I just wish that they were more true to color as you can see on the caps than how they actually look so for a dollar they're good again don't drop them or I'll still break because they're just so fragile another lip color that I have from the Fergie collection is the Fergie obviously lipstick in Beat Bot Love. It's supposed to be like a nudish, nudish brownish kind of shade. I use this to top off this lip combo today. It's very, very creamy, very moisturizing. It's not matte like the Mega Last lip colors. And this one, like if you buy it like in the drugstore, is I believe four or three dollars. So it's more expensive than the actual Mega Last lip colors, but there's, it's still pretty inexpensive in my opinion. It's really, really cute cute it's really pretty very nude very brownish nudish color and when I'm a little bit lighter this is actually my perfect shade of nude but now that I'm a little bit darker this I have to pair up with other nude lipsticks or other darker lipsticks to make it not look so like light and pale on my lips so I like this nude color when it's the winter but for now I am too dark to wear this and I just I can't wear this by itself so I like this um, formula and I will probably get more lipstick to this formula soon in my Dollar Tree so yeah definitely pick this one up now for eye products I have two eye products right here the first one I have to show you guys is the Wet n Wild Shimmer Take On The Day eyeshadow primer and a little part a little party it's basically supposed to be a primer for your eyes to put on before you put your powder eyeshadows so it comes in a, squeaky, a squeezy tube and it has 0.35 fluid ounces again it was just a dollar so it's like this nice icy shimmery champagne -ish pink color as you can see that it's very very shimmery very beautiful in my opinion I wouldn't mind wearing this just by itself and it seems to set pretty quickly I used to love the original of this they had one called like take on like prima something like that and it was amazing it was like a nice matte nude color and it made my eyeshadows last pretty long it didn't let them crease and this one I hope is the same formula as the new um, prim prim eyeshadow primer that one wild has and it would be amazing if it was because it's beautiful and it would change the colors the eyeshadows 
to a nice shimmery shade. So yeah, I hope this works and if it doesn't, it was just a dollar. So yeah. The next eye product I have here is the Wet n Wild Mascara Amplify and Turn Up the Volume Mascara. It's just a black uh, mascara and it has like a really, really nice full rubber brush. Like I really, really like this brush. It's like nice small and long bristles. Um, packed together and I feel like this will give you a nice volume and separation as well so I haven't been using this because I have a mascara that I'm using it I'm using at the moment so I'm using this brush just to comb out my brows for now because I haven't gone to the mall and bought an, uh, my Anastasia number 12 brush so this one just has been a nice substitute for that so yeah I don't know how to t what to tell you guys about this it was a dollar the packaging is really really cute in my opinion and the brush seems to just work for my eyebrows perfectly fine but when I do use it for um, as mascara I will tell you guys how I feel about it. The last two products that I got in Dollar Tree were these two face products so let me start with this one. This is a Come Correct Celebrity Concealer in Medium Golden. This is obviously way too light for my skin tone obviously so I'm just thinking about mixing this um, with other concealers and maybe using it for under the eyes because it does seem moisturizing and it feels like it would be really nice and uh, Full. So as you can see, that's not my shade whatsoever. It's really, really, really light. So I would have to mix with other concealers to make it not look so ghostly-like on my skin. So I, so far, think it's nice and creamy. And yeah, I just have to test it out. I Since I just recently got a lot of these Wet n Wild products, I haven't tested them out. So... The next product is a product that I've actually been loving. And it's the Wet n Wild Fergie Center Collection. To reflect shimmer palette in Hollywood Boulevard this is to be super super raved about here in the YouTube community it's like it has like a bit of yellow brown and pink going through it but when you mix it together it's like this beautiful champagne golden shimmery highlight it kind of reminds me of my champagne pop by Becca and it's really nice really nicely milled it just kind of gives like a nice a boom to your skin and I personally really really love it I've used it a couple of times I'm not wearing it today because uh, it's today my sister's graduation so I didn't think to wear this I just wore my Anastasia one <laughs> um, so yeah but I personally really love it and it has a lot of product for a dollar which is what it costs and normally it just costs five dollars so even then it wasn't that expensive that cheap I mean that expensive sorry so yeah nice nice highlighter and I recommend it for you guys especially now that it's a dollar so continuing on with wet n wild I have a couple of other wet n wild products that I have to show with you guys and the first thing I have here is the wet n wild mega glow contouring palette contour and dulce de leche um it's supposed to be a nice contour palette slash slash colors and one is like a vanilla-ish uh, shade and the other one is like a neutral medium brown i use this to highlight i mean to highlight to contour my um face and this one to set my under eyes one thing that i have to sh tell you guys is that they're really really creamy but i feel like the the highlight shade is way more powdery than the contouring shade as you can see uh, uh yeah I, I don't know what's up with that at all like it picks up it kicks off a lot of um, powder when I use my brush in it or when I put my brush in it more should I I should say sorry so I don't know how I feel about it I've only used it once but so far it's kind of like meh what's the hype about you know the next product I have here is this lipstick and cinnamon spice and it's like a nice dark or like a more darker warm brick red I have another lipstick in sandstorm but I can't seem to find it anywhere so sorry it's basically like a nice nudish dark nude peach color like but very very slight peach color so I'm sorry I can't show that for you guys right now I just I can't find it anywhere so yeah and if I don't find it anywhere I gotta go buy it because it really is a beautiful lipstick that I wear I've been wearing a lot actually so yeah cinnamon spice beautiful regardless if I don't have the other lipstick now moving away from wet and wild finally I have uh, Jordana products so it's again another inexpensive brand so the first thing I have to show you guys is the Fabu liner look at liner in 01 black and it's just a felt tip liner and whoop, it's pretty black it's intense the wings 
the when I apply my liner, I do see myself kind of going over the line twice. So it's not that black in my opinion. The tip itself is really nice and creates a nice cat cat wink and it stays on all day and so far it's a really nice mediocre liner that it just like the other product that I have to show you guys is the infamous Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara in 301 Black. It's just it's infamous. I had to pick it up. It was I believe there was a deal on two for five on Jordana Cosmetics and I was like, well, I might as well just pick it up. I've been wanting to pick it up for a while now. So, yeah, I picked it up and I don't know how it is because I haven't opened it up. Like, because, like I said, I have a bunch of mascaras that are already open right now. So, I'm just going to keep this until I run out of those mascaras. The last two drugstore makeup products I have here is the L'Oreal True Match Corrector Liquid Concealer in Light Medium W45. It's supposed to be like a nice correcting concealer but I love it for under the eyes I have it under my eyes today and I've had it for previous videos under my eyes I like it it doesn't crease that much on me it's really moisturizing it doesn't crease that much it's inexpensive it has good coverage and the applicator is like a brush applicator so it's different from most uh, concealers so that's how that color looks like and as you can see I didn't put that much because I don't really want to waste the concealer, but it blends in nicely and it's a really nice concealer in my opinion and you can't go wrong with it. The next product I have to show you guys is the Milani Powder Blush in Coral Coral Cove and it's a powder brush and it's a brush blush and it's like a nice corally pink blush. It's just, it's really beautiful in my opinion. One thing I have against it is that it's kind of patchy when I like swatch it with my hands and when I put a brush to my face. It's patchy as well as well as it stinks like if you're Mexican and when your mom makes tamales and you know how when she makes the tamales she uses manteca that's how this smells like so I don't know if you guys like the smell of manteca if you're Mexican or know what manteca is uh, but that's how it smells like like manteca de puerco like it's, it's I don't like how it smells, um, but the br bleh, the blush is beautiful. I have to use like a fluffy brush, like my Real Techniques blush, to apply it and for it not to look patchy. So I feel like this one's a little bit more high class. But re regardless, I really love how this looks on my skin. It looks super natural. It looks like I ran or like when you know you know in the winter when you go out and you get all pink and crap, or when anime characters have like the little blush. That's how I look like with this blush so I really like it I hate the fact that I have to be so precise or so like like careful when it comes to using this blush brush blush blush I'm sorry um, but regardless I really like how it looks and it was only six bucks so that's that blush and it's beautiful the design is cute so okay so that's it for drugstore makeup so let's continue on with the high-end makeup so I only have one high-end product to show you guys and it's some sealer products so um, I don't have the package to show you anymore because I threw it out because I already recorded this video but I lost the footage so I'm recording it again I should have said that in the beginning but whatever um, but it was like a Stila kind of set so with a bubble bar so see little bubble bar so it contains a couple of products from Stila as well as the bracelet from Bubble Bar. So I'm just going to start with the bracelet from the company. And it's this beautiful, obviously it's fake, gold stud bracelet. It's stretchy and it has, on some studs, it has rhinestones on it. And on the others, it's just plain gold bracelet it's really nice I like it but because it's the elastic that it is and because I'm a hairy girl it gets caught in my hair and it kind of hurts and as well as sometimes the string that holds the bracelet together kind of frays a little bit and it goes all over the place and then you can see it when I have a bracelet on which is kind of not that cute and if I am correct I think bubble bar is expensive or maybe like mediocre pricing but I feel like this is cute but if it's expensive, it wouldn't be worth the money. But personally, I really, really love this bracelet. And I'm kind of glad that I stretch it because it can, it's kind of like a one size fit all kind of thing. So I love it. So I've been using this quite a lot. And actually, I'm just going to keep it on. It came in this cute velvet pouch. And in the bag itself, it's like a 
sequin bag, like sequin gold mustard bag. I personally think that this bag is kind of ugly, but it's a nice quality makeup bag, I guess. Kind of. Not really. But regardless, it was a nice touch for them to put all these products in a bag. I have here the Stila eyeshadow in Kitten. And it's like a nice icy champagne color it's really really pigmented it's really really creamy and if i'm not mistaken i heard that see the eyeshadows are so creamy that they break but this one doesn't feel like it's gonna break anytime soon so i know this eyeshadow by itself is 18 and the whole makeup kit thing was 15 dollars in marshall's so i feel like that was such a bargain so i'm glad i have this now as for me I use it sometimes as highlighter or even as eyeshadow, but it's a ton of juice, so yeah. Talking about highlights, I have here also the Kitten All Over Shimmer Liquid Luminizer in Kitten Shimmer. And it's like a nail polish kind of technique. It has like a wand and it's liquid. Now I feel like this one's a bit more yellowy than the actual Kitten eyeshadow, but it doesn't go, it doesn't it's not too far off so that's how it looks I obviously put a lot and when I put it on my skin and I blend it out it's very very subtle but now that it's like this it looks like super super intense but honestly once I start blending it in and I blend it into my skin and I put powder over it it's very not intense as this so I like this Illuminizer, and I will keep using it. <laughs> the next product I have here is the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in Gilded, and it's like a nice golden eye pencil. But as you can see, mine is like broken or something. Like it doesn't go. Oh, there it goes. It um, it's like it, I thought it was broken, but obviously it's not. So it's like a nice gold, gold like a brassy gold shimmery shade. It's beautiful, and I love the Stila Smudge sticks i had a, a really really dark brown one but i finished it so i'm glad i have this one and i believe the smudge sticks are 20 so again the the value of this pouch is really really good compared to what i paid for and the last product i have to show you guys is the stila lip glaze in kitten so i feel like these lip glazes are either like you either love them or you like severely hate them like you can't not be like in the in between in my opinion like I feel like so many people hate them but at the same time so many people love them I personally don't know how I feel about them I kind of like sticky lipsticks more lip glosses more than non sticky lip glosses so I feel like I might love this but it's like a nice shimmery just sparkly lip gloss clear but it has kind of a shimmery uh, gold shimmer and it looks beautiful so I feel like it would be really beautiful to top off on the middle of the lip just to make your lips look more just a really good value for what you get here now moving on to body care slash skin care slash whatever hair care kind of products I have three products to show you guys the first one is my Sani's Saint Eve's Saint Eve's whatever uh, blemish control apricot scrub <laughs> scrub so now I have foundation all over it great this is my holy grail scrub when I feel like my skin is getting flaky or like kind of weird looking like right now it's kind of recuperating from how it was before this is my lifesaver this just takes away all the dead skin cells it makes my skin look smooth luminous it's just I love this scrub so so much and it helps me with preventing pimples coming from my face so whenever I stop using it I notice because my pimples my, my face starts acting up so I just buy this at a place called DND. &D. I personally really love this and I only get the scrub at that store so yeah usually when I get it I usually stock up on the scrub but I love this scrub so so much my holy girl I forever love this scrub now moving on to body care I have here this uh, the body shop body butter and strawberry and I got it at Marshalls for ten dollars and um, like, as you can see I've had used it for a while and it smells so so good I don't even know what it smells like it just smells sweet and I love it and this is originally $18 just bullcrap because a smaller one is a $20 so this is probably like $30 $40 in the body shop and I got it for 10 I love Marshall and the last hair care body hair whatever 
skincare thing is my Style Sexy Hair Control Maniac. It's what I've been using on my uh, Pixie Cut lately. It's basically like a nice blue pomade. You rub it on your fingers and then you just kind of massage it into your... Massage it? Whatever. Massage it into your hair and it makes your hair look nice and styled. It smells good. Personally, people don't like how it smells, but I personally really like how it smells. It was $18, which is not an expensive which is not a cheap product but I feel like this will last you for a long time so I think it's worth it so yeah I like this product and I heard a lot of good things about this brand so I'm glad that I got it because my hairstylist actually used this on me so I like it um, and if you use too much of it your hair does look greasy so that's the downside but I feel like that's how it is with most products anyway so whatever so yeah love this product so, so much now moving on to accessories which I only have three of so I have here two sunglasses that I got I have this John Lennon kind of inspired in my opinion in my opinion in my opinion sunglasses like a nice gold thin gold rim and it has bluish green lenses and that's how it looks on me. It probably doesn't look that good because I have this type of shirt on. But I personally really like how it looks. I got it at a garage, at a garage sale for a dollar. But I think I, just, I saw it on She Inside, like the website. I saw these sunglasses on that website. So um, if you guys want to check in She Inside for sunglasses that are like these, definitely check that out. But I got it for a dollar here in a garage sale. Now the next shades that I got are these black kind of cat eye um, sunglasses. They're more bigger and the frame itself is more thicker. And this part is silver. So the lenses are like dark regular sunglasses kind of thing. And I got this at a state. No, I didn't get a state. I got it at a fair. And that's how these sunglasses look like. And they're UV 400 I believe. So they're really cute. Really big for my face. And I personally really love these. So, yeah, I'm glad I got these. But my the last product I want to show you guys, and my favorite product I want to show you guys, are my new cleats that I got. Um, don't look at that message. My friend wrote something on that. But it's basically my new Junior Hyper Venom Fallen 2 um, NJR. Anyways, um, I don't really know soccer. Soccer words two words whatever I got them in a junior size because my feet are tiny and I got them in a size five and this is how they look like just it's the Neymar design it's like a nice black and white pattern and then the check mark is check mark the, ch <laughs> the check mark is bright orange and the cleat itself is like a rubber kind of thing and orange as well and it's beautiful and I've been wanting this design for a long time now and I'm glad I have it and a source authority is on sale that's where I got these I got this for 36 35 dollars which is crazy cheap for cleats so ah, so glad I got these and on the inside the foot I guess you could say I has like one has a heart and it says alegria and the other one says Osaria, Osaria, o Osaria, and it's like a punch. So, yeah, Osaria. I've never heard of that word. Is it Portuguese? Is it Portuguese word? I don't know. But it's beautiful. So, I'm so glad I got these. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it's super long. It's kind of. Anyways, yeah guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm sorry if it's super random and super kind of like bleh, but yeah, I love this and most of the products that I have here today I haven't tried out except for like five, three of these. So if my review slash when I was talking about them seemed kind of weird and off, that's why and I was trying to say something about them. But if you guys want a separate review on any of these products, even these shoes, I will do that for you guys. So yeah, I feel like this would have good control over them all. Anyways, yeah guys, I love you guys so, so much. Take care. Like this video if you like hauls or if you like burgers or soccer. 
and comment things you guys want to see in the near future as well as subscribe to my channel if you like and again all the makeup that I'm wearing as well as clothes that I'm wearing are down in the description below as well as previous videos that I want to show you guys also before I go if you guys want to if anybody wants to collab with me you can have less subscribers than me I don't mind if anybody wants to collab with me tell me in the down below and I'll collab with you guys you just inbox me um you DM me on Instagram my DM my Instagram is down below and I will contact you right back so yeah guys thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time peace